Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Strategy and Tactics Magazine number 100, and the game is Superpowers at War Operations in Western Europe. Let's see what this is all about. I haven't even opened it, looked through this yet. Let's take a look at the map first. Looks like there's two maps here. Here's one. This is a across the Rhine scenario map, it says. And let's see the one on the other side. This is a drive on Munich scenario map. Looks alright for uh, that period of time. What is this, the 1980s? Let's see here. Yeah, March 1985. This is what I'd expect from a map from 1985. Let's take a look at the counters. Counters are just standard NATO military symbols. It's got some out of supply up markers, game turn marker, uh, command post markers and stuff. Looks like uh, they're all double sided too. These are half inch counters. Alright, let's uh, look through the rules now. Alright, it says uh, Superpowers at War game uh, presents two hypothetical regimental level campaign scenarios set in West Germany following the hypothetical outbreak of a conflict between NATO and Warsaw Pact countries. Alright, it says the drive on Munich scenario is set in an early phase of the conflict. The Warsaw Pact player must capture Munich and drive back the NATO forces in southwest Germany. A variety of NATO forces have gathered to stop the onrushing Soviet and Czech forces. And then the across the Orion scenario begins at a later stage in the conflict with the assumption that the Warsaw Pact has broken through the forward defense lines of NATO. The Warsaw Pact player tries to move his substantial forces over the Rhine River and into the open country beyond while retreating NATO units stream onto the map trying desperately to evade the closing Soviet pincers and to fight a successful delaying action. Alright, it's going over the parts here. And the counters, looks like you have firepower, morale, and movement allowance. And here's the sequence of play down here. Mutual command phase, first impulse check, first player move, first player mandatory combat, first player optional moves, second impulse initiative check, first player second movement phase, first player second combat phase. Oh, I forgot forgot uh, here you repeat these steps for the second player and down here you repeat them again and then you have a game turn interface all right so here it's going into movement and starting with initiative and com uh, command and supply and going over ground movement and then you got helicopter movement in here too zones of control stacking and then it's going over combat how to attack artillery and then it's going over air points and air superiority and combat results. And here's part four special functions. I'm not sure what that's about. All right, and it's got nuclear weapons in here too. Chemical weapons, air mobile transport phase, reinforcements, replacements. And here's the scenario stuff. Here's the scenario rules for drive on Munich. And it's got its reinforcement schedule here. And the uh, rules for the across the Rhine scenario. And if you lose any of the chits, here's, here's what they look like so you can create a new one. It's got a little player age sheet here that you can photocopy and give to each player. There's your combat results table. Nuclear consequences table, yeah, that's definitely going to have some consequences. Superpowers at war game, initial track values, and terrain effects chart. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you guys this. If you have played this, definitely chime in and let us know. And as I mentioned in the last video, I'm selling used games on my website now, so see the description for this video. It has a link to it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.